Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a little project with some USB-C power delivery. Module you see here is a 12 volt. Other ones you can do is you can just do straight five, which is kind of normal USB power. Then there's nine volt and then there's 12 volt and there's some bigger voltages too, but you need a lot of wattage for that. Um, but what this will do is it'll take, you know, five um, USB-C um, power either through a wall outlet or through one of those battery banks that we did in the previous video and boost the voltage from 5 volt to 12 volt. And so you may be thinking, well, what's this good for? It's like, well, if you have a device like what we're going to wire up, uh, like I'm going to do it with a fan, like a little camp fan that uses 12 volts. And so that gives us another um, thing we can use our devices for. So if you need to travel, then you can power up a fan, you can power up your you know, your laptop, you can power your phone, um, all those things. It becomes just a little more universal, which is what USB kind of starts as, universal serial bus. But in this scenario, we're just going to focus on power. This will not do any kind of communication, obviously, for this, especially for this application. But this is just power. We're taking 5 volt and bumping it up to pretty much 12 volt um, and take advantage of that to power something. And in this case, we're going to a fan. So let's take a look at the fan and I'll show you what I got in mind. All right, here's the fan that I have in mind. Um, it's actually a pretty simple fan. It fits down quite nicely to a very low profile. It does have a power input and you can use you know, a brick to power it. But like I said, I want to add the USB-C connection to it. And what we're going to do is we're going to do it in the back. So I already put a hole in there from a different attempt, but I uh, decided to change to what I'm doing now. But if we take this open, you can see this is designed to take, I think, D batteries or C batteries. And so this is obviously the ground, I mean, the positive, because black is, should be the ground. So I'm just going to try to extend this hole, and I have 3D printed a mount. So here we have a mount that's got the nice opening for the USB-C port, and it's been profiled to fit that PCB. And the way I designed it is it becomes completely flush on this part. And then we have a retention. So when you feed this through whatever wall, you can, you know, secure it to the wall. And then to secure the PCB without having to glue it, you can put this cap on. And so that will go all the way flush, tight it as much as you can that way that the PCB can no longer escape. And obviously we have a hole there to let the wires through. So next I'm gonna make this hole big enough to fit this and go ahead and mount it. Make sure that it fits. This is on a curved surface, but I have a feeling that you know it's flat enough that I should be able to torque it down well enough. If that doesn't work, then I may go down here on one of these sides that are more flat. I just kind of like that it's kind of a little bit more out of the way. It kind of feels more natural that a power might go there. So I'm going to try there first. So let's work on that. All right, we've got our lead soldered on there. If you notice uh, on the right, we have the white wire, which is positive, And on the left, we have the black wire. So if the PCB is face up, where you can see the electronics, then the positives on the right and ground is on the left. So now let's throw it into the um, mount, make sure that everything fits nicely. And then we will secure it to the fan, wire it up, and we'll call it a project. All right, we have the PCB mounted in there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's a nice, perfect little flush setup. PCB is installed, and it you know touches the very flushing part, so that when we put our cap on, it will um, keep it there, and it won't shift around as we plug things in and out. It might be the tiniest bit of play, but it definitely is not a big deal. So now on the fan, we've got the hole created. So let me go ahead and mount this up, wire it up, and we'll give it a test drive. All right, we've got everything completed here. We've got the mount installed. Seems to uh, mount pretty well, even though it's on a curve, but it's flat enough. We've got our wires uh, connected, and um, we are connected to uh, 65 watt, no, I'm sorry, like a 45 watt uh, USB-C power brick. So let's test the fan out. I thought it gets low. Now tie works beautifully. All right. Um, like I said before in our previous video, we can now use 
one of these nice power bricks to power it up. So let's test that real quick. So let's see if I can keep this in the frame. Zoom out a little bit. All right, so let's plug that up. Now it's slower because what we're actually using is we're using the standard uh, connector, which only does five volts. But if I had my USB-C to USB-C, it would be fine. But it's just a test. So now I got a nice big battery brick I can take with my camp fam whenever I need to leave the house. So I hope that helps you guys uh, with the project you might have in mind. Uh, in the description, I'll have where you can get these PCBs and where you can get the 3D printed files for the mount. Uh, you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video.